What's going on guys? Chesapeake Arena today, December 2nd for Kicklehoma OKC. We're about to get this day started. It's gonna be a blast. Let's get it. Appreciate your support, ma'am. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let, let, let him know what you did. What you did? Brought, brought a group of 14 young men out here. Today? Yeah. Yes. From where? Okima. Nice. We stopped at the booth and she was working it that day. Okay. So we stopped and we visited with her and she explained to us and gave us the card. I said, we'll be back. And Cole's all about, did we done it yet? Did we done it? I said, yes, I already purchased tickets. We have a little boy that tore his ACL out two weeks ago and he had surgery Thursday. So he didn't get to come today. I know we are sad. Right. Poor Jake. What are you telling This won't be the last one. Uh, we know. We've already been to the one fair, mar fair market. Oh, Lord. All right. Didn't have a clue what I was doing, but, you know. I, okay. I just this. the driver. I appreciate the support. Sure. Somebody had to drive him. I'm the man. You're the man. Y'all, we got to do this because the boys are going to freak out. See, I'm not very good at who everybody is. Wait, can we have our picture made? That's fine. So the boys will freak out. They'll say, you did not have your picture made with him. Oh, yeah. You even get his phone number if you want. He's like, oh, my God. I appreciate this one. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, just tell you what I told him. I appreciate it because there's one word or alcohol involved in it for the young kids. I know. Right. 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 I really do. So 48 rush. Shout out to Dalton Dillon. The only time I see Dalton's at Kicklahoma. Kicklahoma. Come on, real quick. This dude's ass. What? On Snapchat, like, what? like two days before these dropped, was like, was like, I don't need I don't them. Need I, them. I didn't need them then. I, I got enough blue in my I collection. Didn't, I didn't need them then. I don't need them. I didn't need them then. I don't want them. I need them now. <laughs> I got them now because I needed them now. He said this, whoa, 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 whoa. You said this, like, when they came out on Saturday, he was saying on Friday he didn't need them. On Sunday, he was on Snapchat. On Sunday, he was, on Sunday, the day after they dropped, he was begging for a size 11 on Snapchat. I wasn't begging. I was, you know, really, really adamant about getting them at that point. <laughs> talking about man <laughs> no bosses you just you just got here yeah just now that's dope you didn't bring nothing to sell or trade nada not yet i want some kobe's hey kobe's. First, first pickup what double x hey. that's fire this me that's you no way Official. I look fat and blue though. Not just kidding. You look fat and blue. <laughs> I look fat period. Now you gotta go find shoes that match. Well, take it off right there then. Hey y'all look away. Y'all don't wanna see this big body. Look away, everybody look away. Hey there's a look at I'm about to Eddie Rich, bro, he tried to slow play. Two 
So I am here with Royal Ivy, former uh, NBA player now on the Thunder uh, coaching staff. Uh, so Royal, he pulled out the uh, little Westbrook PEs today. <laughs> today, uh, what's what's the shoe that you grew up on? Or like what uh, you grew up wearing? My favorite shoe was probably uh, Air Force Ones Air Force from New York City. So oh, okay. you had them in, you had to have a classic pair of white, icy whites or a black pair. And then probably the Air Max 95s. You know, I, I, my parents didn't have much money, so they were about 180 and it was kind of hard to get those. So when I got some money, I got them in all colors. And if you're a New Yorker, you wear phone posits too, so. Right. So like you say, you didn't have a lot of money growing up. Was it something where you got like a pair a year or it was just kind of here and there, like back to school? You got a, you got a pair for, you know, basketball and then you got a pair to wear to school. So like two or three pairs growing up. And then, you know, when I started playing basketball, they would throw you more sneakers. So, you know, I started wearing more basketball kicks. And then when you, when you get your own money, that's when I went crazy and just started buying everything. So. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a sneaker head, I'm a sneaker connoisseur, it's different. I, I buy what I like. So. Right, right, right. So like, nowadays, what are your favorite, what are your favorite pairs to wear now? Like, you obviously out here, you work out with the Thunder a lot before the games, and we see you in a lot of different shoes. What is uh, your favorite go-to's as far as comfort, you know, and for athletic wear? You know, comfort, the Kyrie ones, the Kyrie twos, I like those. Um, I wear everything, I wear from, you know, from Jordans to Kyrie's to um, PG sneakers, pretty comfortable. Um, Cause I'm on the court working out with guys, playing with guys. So Paul George ones are nice to play in. Um, just like off the court, a lot of fly knits. I got a whole bunch of old fly knits that I wear. They're comfortable. The chuckers, the high cut. Got a couple of pairs of those. I still have Air Force One that I have, but I haven't opened up the box that I throw on every once in a while. Halloween, two tone joints. I got the, you know, I got a little, I got a couple of flavors. What's a, what's a shoe and name a shoe, one of your favorite shoes, like your favorite shoe model, and maybe a possible colorway that hasn't released that you would like to see on it. Say maybe like, you know, they just did the red 11s, which everybody wanted, but is there a specific shoe that you're like, man, I would like that colorway on that shoe? That's a, that's a tough question because the colorways are getting crazy now. You know, they, they I think they, they're releasing too many, you know, because it's, it's all about the hype. Um, my favorite colorway is the, uh, the nines, uh, the, the black and olive. And I, I see they're coming out with 13, but um, they're not leather, so I'm, I'm not really feeling that. But I love the, the, that black and, um, you know, that green colorway. Maybe in the, uh, they do that in the 12. That'd probably be hard. Black and then with the, the green outsole, so that'd probably be good. So somebody shows up to your house and says, I need you to come with me right now. You're never coming back to this house. You can only take one pair with you. What's the one pair you're taking? Man. I can't take one pair. I got too many pairs. I got over about 400 pairs of shoes, so. Um, What's the pair you're wearing out the house? You got it, It's got to go. This is a life or death situation. You got to take one pair, and, and you don't know when you're coming back. You might. You're not. You're not coming back. You have to take the one pair with you. Ooh. You know what? It's gonna be a pair of Adidas, Jeremy Scott. I got a pair that nobody has. I haven't seen them on anybody else. I got them maybe like seven years ago on eBay. I paid a lot for them, so that's what I'm gonna take them. They're blue satin with floral prints on them, so they're pretty dope. Probably those, and in hand, I'll probably take my um, my Dornbacher Force. <laughs> hey, that sneakerhead prize. We always talk about, oh, I got one on foot, I can carry one in this hand, I can wrap the laces and take another around nice. my neck. But hey, I appreciate uh, Royal Ivy taking a couple minutes out today, swinging by the Kick Lahoma event. If you missed out, I heard there's a couple other people coming through, but I hey, appreciate uh, Royal and uh, Definitely. your support, man. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Yeah. No, this is this is before the ones. Oh, this is like so they had him, Brandon Roy, Darren Williams, Rudy Gay. They each had a, a, like something similar like this with their little original logo, and then Katie got the signature, and the other guys kind of got left out.
But this is like the McDonald's colorway. My first pick of the day, thanks to the homie Lorenzo, the size 17s <laughs> gifted to me. I appreciate it, Lorenzo. No problem, boss. Gonna go uh, put them up there somewhere. I might put my foot in just to see like how loose once they're laced up are they still actually. <laughs> I appreciate it. What's up, man? Don't, What's up, when you count me? You good? good, man. You good? I want to shoot a couple threes, man. You said you want to? Put them in the kickbox. Baby. I mean, it was, it was a little investment, but I won these bad boys. Price tag of six fifty. Big, big old red box with a hat. This red leather hat, so dope, so dope. And I wear there you go, guys. We're at Chesapeake Arena with another kickbox testimonial from. What's your name, sir, and where are you from? My name's Ethan Tyndall. I'm from Edmond, Oklahoma. <laughs> Come here. I asked Dalton, I said, Dalton, do you watch wrestling back in the day? And he was like, yes. And I said, Dalton, the Dudley Brothers. And he knows nothing about the Dudley Brothers. He's like, no. And I was like, I said, dude, the black one and the white one. Like you and Jarrell, and you don't know about the Dudley Brothers? Who's Jarrell? Damn, that's messed up. That's coming out, Jarrell. We Who's never Jarrell? see you anymore. Come around. Oh! Three, tell me the best sneaker group. One, two, three. Here you go. Oh